I got a question for you. Are you ready? The reason why I ask that question is because I come across so many artists on the daily basis who have no sense of direction. They don't know where they are going. So today I want to give you guys a little more clarity on this. Maybe more of a roadmap to get where you're going. Before I get into the video, I ask that you guys please like it up, help the channel grow. We're trying to get the 50K. Without any further ado, let's get into it. Now you got plenty of rap coaches and music business marketing gurus around that'll promise you if you sign up for their program, they'll get you on the fast track to superstardom. The truth is, there is no fast track to superstardom. This is a journey. It has been for Future that's been writing songs since 2004. It's for Lil Wayne who didn't get recognized as the best rapper alive until 11 years in the game. But the one thing that I see in most artists starting off is they don't know where to begin. I say the first place to begin is develop your value proposition. Come up with some type of skill, some type of reason why people will want to tune in to your music, your videos, or content. If you can't create value within the market, there is no reason for people to spend money or become a fan of you. Developing that value proposition is probably the stage that I see the most artists at. This is when you're still trying to make decent songs, when you're still trying to find your flow, when you're still trying to figure out what your image is gonna be, when you're still trying to figure out your name, when you're still trying to figure out your style, when you're still swimming through your influences. It's very important not to spend so much money on marketing and promoting and music videos because in my opinion, if you suck, you're not gonna get much out of that $500 video. After you figured out what exactly you're gonna bring to the game or bring to the market, then you want to start what I call the creative active phase. That is actively creating, actively collaborating, actively going to test out studios and video directors and test out your ideas. See, this is all about the cycle. The cycle is we go in the lab, we create what we think will work, and then we put it out in the world. The world will give us the reality of what it is with the reactions that we get or the reactions we don't get. Then we take that back into the lab and we tweak it and then we start the process all over again. That's making shitty videos. That's making shitty EPs. That's getting better with your content. That's getting better with your image. That's getting better with your branding, okay? After this step, you're gonna come across, I say, what is the ready for market step. This is when you've been getting great feedback you're starting to build a fan base, you're starting to build an audience, and you're trying to figure out what's the next step. Where do I go from here? In my opinion, I think it is time to scale. It is time to go find a manager, it's time to go find a producer, somebody within the game that can change things for you. Or hell, even you know, go try to seek out a deal. But either way, all of this work that you've put in is not gonna hit its full potential until you're able to scale it, until you're able to take it to somewhere or take it to somebody who can do big things, who can put you into certain spots. But, 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 they are not going to wanna do this if you don't have one, that value proposition, that where they see, hmm, I see where this could work, I see where this could make money. And then that too, that work ethic that you put in, all of that groundwork that you've built to build up this product that you have. I hope this video was of value. I catch you guys on the next one. If you like content like this, check out my Patreon, link in the description. Peace.